This is my kind of show. The performance racing industry trade show is the biggest on the planet, and Performance TV is going to bring it all. At the PRI show here in the ARP booth with Chris. Chris, everybody knows ARP for the, the performance fasteners and the hardware. You've got some pretty neat displays here in your booth. Yeah, we're very fortunate. We got what we call our performance partners in our booth. They, uh, this one happens to be Mercury Marine's four cam engine. It started from a blank piece of paper and they built the newest, latest model, which is a uh, 1150, 1350, and 1650 horsepower four cam engine. It's an impressive piece. I mean, it's it's big. And, and they use your fasteners and your bolts in all those specific locations to make this thing not only perform better, but the strength of it. This is a massive engine. Yeah, we're, we're in all the critical fastener applications for the head stud, the main stud, the rod bolt, and the exhaust fasteners, the ones that hold the turbos on. I mean, and, and every, you have a performance vehicle. You've probably hauled it to the racetrack with a, uh, a pickup truck, or you know, you got to get it to the racetrack. The diesel market is booming, and you've got the diesel market covered as well. Yes, in the show here, we're, we have a compound turbo Duramax diesel engine. It utilizes all of the ARP fasteners all the way around the engine everywhere. And, uh, you know, we, we cover the Cummins, the, uh, the Ford, and the Duramax. Uh, for all the fasteners. But what about like an import or a you know a performance engine? We know you have everything for that as well. Well, whether you're, you're driving a little rice rocket uh, four-cylinder or if you've got a V6 uh, IndyCar engine from Honda, uh, we can cover you. Yeah, I mean, the Honda engine here sitting in it's not only a beautiful engine, but you top that off with all the fasteners for it. Everything from NHRA, John Force, to IndyCars, to the, to the tow truck to get you to the track. We can get you covered. ARP, the best in bolts. Motors just keep getting bigger and bigger. Of course, there's no replacement for displacement, so we got to be able to get the fuel in the air into those bigger cubic inch motors. We come right here to Quick Fuel, and Derek, you guys have got some really cool stuff you're doing here. Yeah, the demand that carburetors are needed in today's day and age, as far as a cubic inch, like you said, the displacement versus the CFM that's required to I guess you say, put the horses to the ground on that cubic inch. What we've done is we introduced some bigger carburetors, which we have always has in the FX series, from a 1050 up to a 1450 CFM. And at the same time, the requirements that each carburetor and engine needs, we've added another circuit to the carburetor, which basically adds to the tuning available for the carburetor and the engine. If you look here on this particular carburetor, it actually has four tuning circuits versus three, which if you notice here, there's four different circuits, VI air bleed on the top of the carburetor versus the traditional that we've done, and this is one of our 1050s, it's a three circuit, where here you have basically an idle speed, an intermediate speed, and a high speed bleed circuit that you tune. What we've done is we added on this new particular carburetor, we added a low and high fourth circuit that's tunable in the block. Now you have a high and a low emulsion track that you can control, which this being a higher RPM, this being a lower, lower RPM range. So instead of it sharing like a traditional block, the emulsion track, we're splitting this where you're controlling the high RPM and the low RPM differently than sharing it. If you want to find out more, hey, all you have to do is go to their website at quickfueltechnology.com. In the Profiler Performance Products booth with Mike Green. Mike, you're known for your cylinder heads, Chevy heads, big block, small block, Ford big block. But what do you have here? You have a Ford small block head you're showcasing at the PRI show. Yeah, we have a uh, new small block Ford cylinder head. It's a 205cc runner with a 250 intake valve. We're getting 320 CFM out of it with a CNC combustion chamber. Now, now tell me a little bit about, you have, the, you have the small block Fords, you have big block Fords, small block and big block Chevy as well. Yes, uh, we also have a new big block Chevrolet head here that's uh, kind of new for us for the market. We've really done some changes in the valve train to stiffen it up. Then we um, got it to flow over 500 CFM. Uh, everything is made here in the U.S. in-house and uh, it's the quality of metal and the uh, amount of R&D that we put into the product. Right, a lot of research, a lot of development, a lot of testing, I'm sure, as well. Yes, a lot of testing, a lot of flow bench testing, a lot of dyno testing. Now, you got cylinder heads. you got to have some air to get into those cylinder heads. You also have an uh, intake manifold for big block Chevy, small block Chevys? Uh, we have big block Chevy manifolds. Uh, it's our sniper line of manifolds, and you know we see good results with that. We've had a lot of dyno testing where we're seeing 
30 to 40 horsepower increase just in a manifold swap. Yeah, there's a lot of performance goes into the manifold. You have a great set of cylinder heads. You can't get the air to them. You're not going to have a good performance with that cylinder heads. You're matching the manifolds to go with your cylinder heads. Yes, and then they also fit other manufacturers of cylinder heads. Right. Know, the key there is you've got to supply the cylinder head with the air. If you're looking for a cylinder head and you need to performance your car to pick up, check out Profiler Performance Products. Talk to Mike. He'll fix you up. Thank you, Tommy. We'll be right back with more from PRI after this. This edition of Performance TV, presented by ARP, is being brought to you by ARP, the world leader in fastener technology. Steel rubber, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. Rod and supply, we don't just sell them, we race them. Engler machine, custom CNC machining to your specifications. And by Jamison Equipment, your best source for many of your automotive machine shop equipment needs. One of the neat, cool things about PRI is not all the performance equipment, but also tools to build the performance equipment. I'm here with Bob Hughes from JD Squared. Bob, you've got some really neat tubing benders here. We think we do. We, we kind of like them. Yeah, you've been known for your tubing benders, your bead rollers. Yes, you, got, you, got, you got a new chassis jig here yep. in the booth. Yep. But this weekend, I see you're featuring one of your new tubing benders. Tell me right. about this one. Well, we've been building benders for about 30 years, and we just keep raising a bar, raising a bar. And this year, we brought out the new Model 54, and it's our first bender that will actually bend three-inch tubing. It's mandrel capable, so we can run mandrels inside the tubing. Got a complete toggle lock system. And right now, we just tickle pink with this machine. It's doing everything we wanted to do at the price break that we wanted it at. Right. Now, these, these are for you guys. You're looking more for the guys that are fabricators and chassis with this. Right. This isn't your hobby machine right here. No, this no, is no. for the guy that does it every day. Yeah, this is the guy who he's working with the chrome molly. He needs precise bins. You know, you take a piece of 10-foot chrome molly, you got 80, 90 bucks in it. You don't want to make a mistake. This is the machine that you would really have to try to make a mistake. But yeah, no, you can service yeah. everybody in the yeah, industry. We pretty much have them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you brought back your bead roller. You, yes, sir. You, you quit making it for a lot of years, and now you're bringing it back again? Yes, sir. We quit building it in 99. We were just in too small of a shop, and we've gotten bigger, so we decided let's bring it back, and it's the same spec as the 99, so... Everybody already knows what it is. <laughs> Perfect. If you're going to be fabricating anything, bending any tubes, you're going to need one of these. Check it out, JD Squared, JD2.com. You know, for Tommy and I to look as good here on Performance TV as we do, we knew we needed to get a little help. Okay, maybe me more than Tommy. I knew right where to go. Advertising Edge, Don Rowe, you, you guys have actually been doing uh, crew shirts for my husband and I for our race team for many years, but that's not the only thing that you guys do at Advertising Edge. No, Advertising Edge, besides being an apparel manufacturer, we also do the promotional items, the replica jerseys, and your corporate branding. Made in the USA. That is so important to so many of us. Yes, it's, uh, it's quite a commitment to manufacturing in the U.S., but we've made it, so all of our crew apparel and race jerseys are all manufactured 100% in the U.S. You know, if you need a little help with design, oh, you guys can handle that. Oh, not a problem. If you take a look at some of the brands we own, like Stupid Fast Racing, we definitely have the art staff that can design for you. D and different choices in, in fabric. Yes, you have wicking fabrics, you have durability fabrics. It just depends on your needs. So we have all the things we can offer you to provide a very top quality shirt. We have casual wear that can you can back up with your sublimated crew apparel. But the biggest thing is remember, sponsors are looking for identity. And if you don't have an identity, why should they sponsor you? The first step is your apparel, because it's the first thing everybody sees. What would you say would be one of the biggest questions that folks have when they're first trying to put something together like this for their team? One of the biggest problems is you're working with sponsors, and they're not sure who their sponsors are going to be. So we tell them, you know, we can design the shirt, we put the sponsors on you think you're going to have, and you use it to actually sell the program. You know, and I see sweatshirts and I see all kinds of other stuff, all the sublimated stuff that you guys can do. We want to find out more. A couple of different websites we can check out, Don. Yes, you can go to AdvertisingEdge.com, or if you're strictly interested in crew apparel, you can go to CustomRaceShirts.com. Made in the USA. Want to find out more? Check out those websites, and you, too, can be looking good out on the track. In order to make your car run better, you need to know how to test it and make it perform better. I'm with John Jamison at Jamison Equipment Company. You have a flow bench to make the cylinder head perform better, right? Yes, we do. Now, the flow bench, how does that work? And why does somebody need one? Well, to study the effects of different engine components like manifolds, cylinder heads, carburetors, you can measure the uh, airflow and uh, find out 
how to improve it, the efficiency of the engine. Can you show me a little bit of how, how this, this flow bench works and what model you have here? Yes, this is the uh, Signs model 680. And this flows 680 CFM at 28 inches of water. And we open the valve on the cylinder head here. And I've got this one open to 200 thousandths right now. And I'm going to turn it on. And when I step on that pedal, I'm going to take a sample. There's our real time screen that shows what's going on. And that's all there is to doing a test on the intake port. So you're, what we're doing is measuring the airflow. Of, you're taking the sample by stepping on the pedal? Yes. And it, it measures the airflow going through the intake port of the cylinder head? Yes, most people measure at 28 inches of water. If I have this switch set to 28, no matter where this was, it will give us the results of what it had been had I had it at 28, and it's called corrected CFM. Somebody wants to get one of these and wants to experiment with their engines. Do you offer training for them? Yes, a lot of times we'll invite them to our place. They can spend a day and we'll go over the software and how to run a flow bench. Check out Jameson Equipment. You can get yourself your own flow bench, make your car perform better right in your own shop. We'll be right back with more PRI coverage. Joey from Powder X Coating Systems. And Joey, you sell powder coating equipment, but also you have seminars and how to start a powder coating business and how to make money at it. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, we we manufacture powder coating booths and ovens, uh, but then one of the things that we do that's really unique is we teach hands-on powder coating classes that are designed not only just to learn how to do it, but how to make money doing it. And so uh, that's that's one thing that's really unique about what we do. Tell me a little bit about all the packages you have. Well, we've got everything that goes really, really small from, say, big enough to do a motorcycle frame. Uh, we have people that do things as large as car frames, uh, ornamental iron fencing, gates, uh, hurricane shutters, larger parts with larger volume, uh, all the way up to people that are doing things 60, 70, 80 foot long. So we run the entire gamut through that. We also build large automated systems for your manufacturer that may do a, a widget, but they do 10 million of that widget per year. So we build the large systems for those guys and then and then from the folks that just want to get in it. Now, if I don't own your equipment and I still want to come to one of your seminars and, and learn, can I, can I do that? You, you absolutely can. They are designed mostly for people that do not have the equipment already. Uh, folks that have the equipment may a lot of times they will come in right after they buy it, so they so they coordinate the arrival of the equipment with the class. We do normally about eight classes a year on the hands-on powder coating stuff. Starting in 2014, we will be doing some ceramics classes. We're probably going to add a hydrographics class. We're probably going to add some some more advanced powder coating classes about uh, doing different uh, maskings and fadings and the candy colors and all the real cool stuff that a lot of people like to do. So we're, we're constantly adding classes to it. We have a 10,000 square foot training center. It's all, it's training, training only. If you're looking for a new opportunity, check out Powder X Coating Systems. Well, I'm almost feeling a little nostalgic when I stop by this booth because when I was growing up, the only piston I ever knew existed was Aries Pistons, and that was that was all my dad ever ran. And now I'm standing here and holding a nice big block Chevy piston, but Nick, you, you guys over the years have just grown with technology and you've set records, you've done all kinds of stuff, and, and you're still doing that today. Well, to stay ahead of the uh, com competition, you have to keep R&Ding and developing product that's different from the rest of the industry. It's, it's called competition, and we've been in business 45 years under my name, and I think part of the success is that we're innova innovating and trying to stay ahead of the field. One of the motors that is extremely popular right now it is the, the LS line, and Aries is right there with, with creating uh, some new technology. Wow. Well, the engine's been around for 10 years, but nobody's done nothing exotic except develop the standard head into something that's better. But we decided to put the hemispherical chambered heads on the LS, and it's been real good for us. Uh, it makes good power, and it, it, the modern thing today is Hemi. Chrysler did a lot of advertising and pushing on the hemispherical chamber, so we figured it'd be, it'd be a good lash-up on the small block Chevy. 
We're also making it for the Ford 351 Windsor Hemi head. So trying to trying to be the Hemi king of the world. <laughs> You mentioned the small blocks, like with the LS and the big blocks. But you make pistons for anything that needs a piston. Right. Yeah. Well, you've had to, to diversify it to be able to compete and then to kind of get your own niche and service it. But we make diesel pistons and aircraft engines and street rods and so lawnmowers, anything that has an engine in it, we can make a piston. You can find out more. Just hop on their website at areaspistons.com. I'm talking with Todd Goodwin at Goodwin Competition. And Todd, you have some massive engines sitting in your booth. Tell me about tell me about these engines. I mean, they're huge. Well, these engines, this one's based off a 650 cubic inch platform because that's what the rules in NTPA truck pulling dictate. So we can't make them any bigger than that at this point. We've, on this platform, we can make them up to 700 cubic inches. And we have another platform, which is a bigger bore spacing, which we can go up to 860 cubic inches. And one more that goes up to 934 cubic inches. Yeah, so, and your facility, you have all the capabilities of testing this. And you designed all this and have it made. You have your own Spintron. You're, you're able to work out the reliability issues and, and make these things almost bulletproof. Absolutely. The biggest shortcoming in most racing engines is the valve train, as you know. So we work really hard at uh, you know, doing development to try to make the thing when it revs up to 9,9500 RPM that it survives. And of course we know what other engines have and how they perform and what the shortcomings are. So we work really hard first at durability and we know we can make horsepower. You know a lot of guys can make good horsepower so it, durability is, a, is almost a key factor in what we want to achieve first. Yeah, and I'm, from what I'm hearing, some of these engines of yours are starting to do, uh, do very well on the truck pulling uh, circuit. Oh, yeah, we've won, um, I think, five championships now with them. <laughs> so, and that's against the best of the best, you know. So we're pretty proud of it. We're pretty excited. And, of course, it's been a lot of hard work. Tell me about this engine over here, this marine engine. Being that durability is a key factor, we start out with the truck pulling, which is a very durable thing. They run for, you know, 20, 20, 25 seconds at higher RPM. Then we went to the marine side, because those guys will put these things in big offshore power boats and they'll run the hell out of them. So... We've got a pair of engines that we built now. We've done a lot of you know, durability testing and validating, a lot of dyno time on them. This engine makes 1,815 horsepower on 91 octane. Go How many cubic inch? This one's 650 also. It's been a good project for us. Well, I'm telling you, if you're looking for a big cubic inch engine to make a lot of horsepower, check out Goodwin Competition Racing Engines. I mean, these things are impressive. Thank you, Tommy. When we return, we'll stop by for a visit with Roush Performance. This edition of Performance TV, presented by ARP, is being brought to you by JD Squared, made in the USA. Performance Prime, improve your business or personal performance with Performance Prime. Acrotech Performance Products, the best products, the best prices. Gusher Pumps, manufacturers of quality pumps since 1913. And by Giant Finishing, a leader in vibratory mass finishing equipment. I don't want anything in my engine that looks anything like this. Absolutely not. We're going to take care of that with VR12. Lewis, you guys have a, a great thing that you have going on here. I want mine to look more like this. Tell us about VR12. Well, it's a simple product that's come out. It's a new energy product in the market. What it is, is basically a product that would make your cooling system work properly. Our whole thing with this product is the maintenance of the cooling system. It's usually people don't know when their antifreeze has been depleted or bad. And by making our antifreeze last longer, we're going to be better to the environment by not having to dispose of that nasty antifreeze. And that is the most important part of our business. This is about the future of our kids' kids to understand and be educated. There's a reason why to do things and there's a reason why not to do things. In this case, we believe VR12 is the reason and this is why. And we're going to find out why the folks at Roush Yates find this to be such an interesting product, and you guys are on board with this. Absolutely. You know, the VR12 product we've found to help us with electrolysis and the engine, eliminating it. Uh, again, race cars don't have antifreeze, but the processes we use the VR12 for in our racing engines have done a great thing. Uh, not only does the product work, but we really believe in the values that the VR12 people bring. It's a good green initiative. It's good for the ecology of the world going forward. And again, at the Roush Yates engines and Roush Yates performance products, we firmly believe this is a great product to have in your engine. We've been involved with the product for a couple of years as customers, and now going forward, we're very excited to have it on our showroom floor as a product to sell, as well as using it in our engines that we race at the racetrack on the weekends. So if folks want to be able to get their hands on this, they can go right to you. 
Absolutely. Go to the Rush Yates Parts site. You can come to the store. We have a great 40,000 square foot showroom. The product's on display, and you can see it every weekend in our race cars that are at the racetracks. You want to find out more about this product and what it can do for your engine, all you have to do is go to vr-12.com. In the Jiffy Tight booth with Dwayne LaFleur, Dwayne, Jiffy Tight is a, a quick disconnect fitting company. You have some really neat fittings that are quick, they're easy, and they're simple. Tell me a little bit about the, the fittings you have. Well, and, and you're spot on with your comment. We, we call our product line Plumbing Simplified. You don't need tools, you don't need AN wrenches. So basically, once the product is assembled onto something, it's as simple as pulling the collar back, disconnecting it, putting it back together, snapping it in, and you're done. Now, when you disconnect that, it's quick. Do you have to worry about the fluid coming out? I know a lot of people, it's like a hydraulic hose. They want to know if it's going to leak out. Absolutely not. Our, our product line currently is offered with valve technology. So when you disconnect it, you lose no fluid out of the plug or out of the socket. But what we've introduced this weekend at the PRI show is we offer a non-valve quick disconnect fitting. So the difference between the two is, is the valve fitting is a little bit longer because we introduced the valve in there. The one on the right-hand side are both number eight fittings, but you can see how much shorter and compact it is so you can fit it into tighter spaces. You don't need valves in every single application. Our, our rule of thumb is where you disconnect most frequently and you don't want the fluid to come out is where you put the valves, but we can still do what the other fitting companies do on the market in a quick connect form, but we eliminate the stripping and cross-threading and over-tightening or the other opportunities for failure in plumbing. That's where we come up with the plumbing simplified. Right, we, we disconnect fuel lines on the, on, the, on the race cars all the time. We want to drain that fuel out of there, so that's a perfect application for it. Absolutely, and it, it makes it faster, easier, and safer. We do all our own CNC machining. We have our engineering group. We have R&D and testing that we can do with it. And I'm a racer myself, the owner is a racer, so we're able to take this product line and put it on race cars and test it and validate it before we bring it out to the community. Jiffy tight, check these out. You're gonna love how simple they are, how easy they are, and they work. This is Kathy Fisher. Tommy and I will have more PRI coverage same time next week on Performance TV. Don't miss it.